Hi guys and welcome back to Sports Girl HD. Welcome back to the Pentagon Challenge where we are still with Guangdong Sunray Cave in the top flight in the Super League of China, which is the top flight. And we're now just over the halfway point, I believe, or around that point. Anyway, just finished the second transfer window of the season. I want to call it the January transfer window, but it's not. It's like the July transfer window, the June transfer window, if that makes sense, because that's what it is. So, yep, just finished that. Brought a couple of players. Well, a bit of a spending spree, actually, as the title of this video suggests. Money, 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 money. Big spending at this club. So let's see what I brought in. Yep, it is sarcasm. Uh, we spent £9,000 on Mamet Ali. Millions, I know. Big, 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 big bucks spent on this guy. Uh, basically for his physical stats. The rest of it's not great, but his physical stats are really good. So, yep, that's Mamet Ali. Then we brought in for seven thousand pounds, Jiang Zi. Yep, this guy's a winger again. Not too bad, not too bad at all. Adds competition to the wings. Then I brought back my favourite player from last season, Peng Shaxion. Peng's back, and Peng is now uh, another key player for us again. Really good to get him back. And then we brought in for fourteen thousand pounds, Yi Wenchao, a striker. Who's actually really good, actually. 13 finishing, 12 composure, you know, some really good stats. And then Sundong and Xiao Shu. This guy's the one I spent the most money on, uh, just to add competition at left back and also right back. With regards to getting rid of players, just a couple of players went on free transfers, really. I did try to sell Dick because he's just not been playing uh, as you can see here just seven no, you know seven bench appearances that is because i can only play three foreigners non-asian foreigners in my first 11 i have the other one on the bench and because i don't want to take the other foreign players off the other brazilians because they are my key players i can't take them off so i have to stick with the chinese left back uh, if that makes sense i just can't get him into the team so i've been trying to get rid of him but um, because I, I, I've been eyeing up a Brazilian striker who's really good actually. I might have him on here somewhere. I'll just quickly find him. He's actually really, really good. This guy. Yeah, I wanted to get him because he's quick. He's got good finishing and really good technical stats. I really wanted this guy, but I couldn't sell Dick, so we've got to stick with him. So, yep, that's what we're doing there. With regards to fixtures, season's gone okay. As you probably can already have seen, I'm not sure if I've shown you the table yet. Like, uh, but season's gone really well actually barring a few uh, very bad results um, we've had a couple of really good ones in, in the mix it all in the mix of it all uh, a couple of draws to start the season off with then we lost but then we got our first win against the team are actually bottom of the division now but then a big result beat Beijing who have got uh, Freddy Canute so that's a really good result then we drew Guangzhou who have got Yakubu then we beat this lot then uh, we went and lost 8-2 to uh, Guangzhou Evergrande Yes, that's a really bad result considering we ship, you know, eight goals is not never good, but they are the best team in China by an absolute mile. So, yeah, not too disappointed, really. It was predictable I was going to lose, but not by eight goals. Oh, well, by six goals in total. And then Yanbiang Bekdu, we lost to them, the team we went up with last season, so that was really disappointing. But then we bounced back and drew 2 2 with this lot. And then we beat Changjun Yatai. Which is great. Then we lost to Shanghai Shenhua, who are dreadful this season. And uh, I did actually... Well, Shanghai Shenhua sacked their manager, Batista. And I applied for it. I saved before I did it, so I didn't like piss off the board and whatnot, as you do on Football Manager. So, saved, got the job, went to them. And they are screwed financially because of Drogba and Anelka's wages. So I quickly loaded up this, the uh, saved version, went back to this lot. I thought, fuck that, I'm not doing that. So, yep, sticking with this lot until I get to uh, another team, which I'll talk about in the video. But, yep, lost to them, which is really frustrating. And then, probably the worst result I've had with this team, we managed to lose to this lot, 3-1 in the cup. And the reason we lost is because in the cup, um, you have to play Brazil um, Chinese players, no foreigners. So, yep, we were screwed there and we lost. Then we bounced back and beat Shen Zixing. I can't even say that name. Beat them 3-0. And that was really good. I thought everything was great again. But nope, we lost to Leong Wuhun. 3-0 in the last game. And now today we got to play against uh, the team who are third in the division. As you can see, we are in eighth. So we are in the mid-table position. Not too bad. And also, what is interesting is that the top four qualify for the Champions League. 
and Yambi and Bakhtur in at the moment, the team who came up with us last season, which is interesting. But we are three points off a Champions League spot at the, uh, well, just under the halfway point now, actually. Um, for some reason, there was a long break uh, in China during the season. There was, I can't remember there being this long break last season, but there was this year. We had like 40 days off, so that was really bizarre. I'm not sure. I can't remember it happening last year. I probably did, but I just didn't notice. Today, though, as I said, we got to play Hangzhou Greentown, who are currently third in the division. And a lot of new signings, as you saw, a lot of Chinese new signings for us. And because I brought in them, it was like upgrading the rubbish Chinese players I had, and I got rid of them all. And why have my mentor lay up front? Did I select him? I got the assistant to pick the initial squad, but why is he in the team? I don't. I didn't check the team. Dummy. I'm such a dummy. Good job, Muhammad Ali is okay. Muhammad Ali. I want to keep calling Muhammad Ali. Uh, so not too bad. He's not too bad, so he'll do. Uh, passionately tell him. Okay, it's not too bad. Kiamam. And play. Kiamam, let's beat Hangzhou Green Town. Who playing green, believe it or not. Kiamam. Oh, Muhammad Ali. Go on, lad. Oh, the moment he tripped him. Never mind. Yeah, mum. So yeah, it was really actually quite good, nice to be able to go transfer crazy and bring a load of players in because, and they're all up front. All of those transfers are up front. I mean, I know they're not very much money, but you know, I could have put them over four months, and that could have screwed us. You know, really, if you think about it. Because, but financially, since I've taken over, we're now making profits, and financially, you know, oh god, oh god. Losing 1-0 already. That didn't take too long. <laughs> but financially, we're doing really, really well. Making profits. And apparently, it keeps saying, you know, we're expecting, you know, the profits to start increasing and more and more money to be coming into the club. Damn it. Come on. We're losing 2-0. Oh, no. 1-0. Come on. Come on, gang Gangdong. Come on, boys. I really do like this team. I mean, it was hard to go to Shanghai Channel. I know it was. I was only there, literally there, in real real time. I was only there for about two minutes. I looked at the finances, and I was just like, "No, I'm not doing this," because for them to, to be okay, what's happened is they have sold Moreno to Red Bull Salzburg for a few million pounds. So that has helped their financial issues. But go on, yeah, get him. But, um, like, he was the best, I would say he's actually their best player, to be honest. Uh, it's a big statement considering they've got Drogba and Anelka in their team. But because Drogba and Anelka are so old, Drogba is like 35 now and Anelka's 34 and Anelka can barely move anymore. Drogba's never been able to move at his age as soon as the since the save has been going. So, uh, yeah, they're really old and Moreno was, I think, I think he's 28. When I say 28, off the top of my head, I'm not sure how old he is. But he was the best player, he was the most creative player in their team, and they had to sell him. Um, now, if I was in charge, I wouldn't have sold him. I would have got rid of Anelka. Now, you get rid of Anelka because it was something like they were just under £200,000 a week overspending on wages, and that's basically Anelka's wages. So you get rid of him, you fix the issue almost. You know, I'd try and keep hold of Drogba, but who do you replace him with? And, you know, with no money at all to spend to bring in anybody good, so there's no point getting rid of him, really, in a roundabout way. So it was really just, like, a job I was not going to take, really. So that leads me to thinking, well, does that mean I have to stay with Guangdong Sunring? Go on, Mama Tali. Get in, lad. That's a goal his debut, is it? I can't remember if he played last game. That's his first goal for us. Good stuff. Right, 2-1. Come on. So, yeah, so where do I go? Do I have to stay with this slot to win the AFC Champions League? Well, the only alternative is the only team who are any good in China, really, is Gangzu Evergrande, the team that beat me 8-2. Um, chance of getting that job are, are quite slim until you get good reputation, but Marcelo Lippi, because he's not going to get sacked, Marcelo Lippi is 65 or so and may retire soon, I hope. In my mind, he might retire soon, I hope, as I said. So, then I might be able to get the job from him. 
But to be honest, I think that's unlikely. So the only alternative is to go to South Korea. Now, I looked at the rankings and the South the K League, as it's called, is actually ranked better than the Chinese League. So I don't know how that affects the uh, number of Champions League spots or anything like that, but I'm going to get a pen on the team. Um, I don't know if that affects that or not. Whether they get any more spot, I think it's. I think they get four anyway, same as us. But so it doesn't really make a difference. But you get better teams, better competition, and better young Korean players. Like the Chinese young Chinese Chinese players are really really bad. So yeah, I might. You know, the alternative is I'll, I am looking fondly at the K League. To be honest, if I was going to go leave China, I think, or leave uh, leave Guangdong Sunray, because the chances, as I said, the chances of getting the good job is not. In China, the job, good job in China is not realistic, really, I don't think. Because to get it, you've got to increase your reputation. To increase your reputation, you've got to win either the league or the cup. And we're not good enough to compete with Guangzhou Evergrande in either of those, so we're not going to win it. So, yeah, we're sort of rocking a hard place. So, chances are I'll probably just stay with this lot until I can go to Korea and see what we can do here, really. That's where I'm at. I mean, this season, like, it's gone better than I expected. Like, I remember saying in the first episode, I thought this was going to go really hard. I mean, every game, I don't know, like, how it's going to go sort of thing. That's quite that's quite cool because it makes it quite interesting to play. Like, rather than just, I mean, for example, my QPR save, I know when I'm going to, roughly when I'm going to win and when I'm not because I know the English teams. But this, I don't know. A, I don't know the opposition, and B, I don't know what team my, well, how my team are going to perform on any given day. We're so inconsistent, you know. We have, we've got literally three different teams within one team. Hey, that's good luck for me. Hit the crossbar. I don't know, like, what Guangdong Sunray are going to play. It could be the good one, it could be the bad one, or it could be the absolutely shocking one. So, you know, who knows? And today it was the good one because we won two one, which is awesome. Come on, right? Let's tell them passionately because they're a really good team. So passionately, we'll do that. Um, sixth in the table. Well, how many points off of four? Two points now. We got it down to two points. I mean, if we can get into the age, the Champions League, the preliminary round, I think it is. Uh, this season, that would be incredible because that's like so exceeding expectations, it's untrue. Um, oh no, I didn't mean to say that. Damn it. Uh, okay, no one, whatever. Right. Right, right, right. Look at that. Sixth in the table. Leave a like for being sixth in the table and winning that game against Hangzhou Greentown, really. Leave a like for that. And if you've enjoyed the episode, next game I've got to play is against. This lot, the bottom team. So hopefully we can pick up another win there. And then maybe even move into the top four. Or even the top three, as the case may be. Title challenge is completely gone. Uh, gangs who ever grande will come back to win that title. I have absolute faith in that. Uh, Marcelo Lippi is an absolute god of a manager, to be honest. Certainly this league. He, he, he is the Sir Alex Ferguson of this league. He's in real life, to be honest. He's amazing. So... Yeah, leave a like for being sixth in the table. I've rambled enough, and I will see you guys next time.